Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Optima New Force BE Sport 3. So my first impression when I saw this was it's kind of strange because Optima is a company based in the States that's more known for projectors and kind of their uh, display technology than audio accessories. Furthermore, the BE Sport 3 retails at 80 bucks. Uh, you can find it for slightly less, around 70 in the links down below, but that's not necessarily cheap either. Um, it's kind of in the middle tier category of not being as expensive as something by maybe Bose but at the same time isn't as low cost as something that's generic or by syllable um, as kind of these low cost competitors. However, there are quite a few distinctive elements of the BE Sport 3, which we'll discuss. It also has generally excellent sound quality. First of all, the tips that they're providing here, in addition to being silicone, there's a additional tip that's provided by SpinFit. SpinFit is this manufacturer of these really sports focused tips that has a custom kind of double layer design that prevents them from falling out as easily, they're also a bit more resistant to sweat and a bit more comfortable. So you can think of them as the comply of sports-focused earphones, and it's a relatively new brand. Um, this is the same type of uh, tips that was provided by the Alpha and Delta uh, Yap, you can see here, also by SpinFit, and this retails for about the same price, 90 bucks versus 70 bucks but uh, these are truly wireless. These ones still have a small wire attaching the center. They are magnetic, however, so you can wear it like a necklace and it prevents them from getting lost. Other accessories in the packaging include a lanyard strap, micro USB charging cable, additional tips and wings to prevent them from falling out, uh, and there's also an inline remote which supports uh, voice calls because it has a built-in microphone. The battery life here is rated at around 10 hours on a single charge, so that's very long. So in the packaging here, it's actually fairly beautiful this is the reason why i wanted to kind of show you guys this put it back put it back into place again but uh, on top we have the earphones and uh, again they have a flat ribbon wire design as well that prevents them from getting tangled um, otherwise the headphones themselves are surprisingly lightweight and again it features a magnetic uh, kind of uh, design so that it can latch onto each other and you can wear it as a necklace. Um, other accessories in the box include the additional tips, wings, there's a small carrying pouch um, as well as the user guide. So from here we can see again the abundance of adapters. These are the twin blade silicon tips by SpinFit for uh, use when you're vigorously exercising. These are very colorful regular silicon tips by Optima. These are the additional uh, wings for color matching to prevent them from falling out when you are exercising. This is the neoprene little pouch that's created and has the logo New Force on it. So again, there's a lot of attention to accessories. So here are the Sport 3s themselves. You can see they're actually really small earphones and uh, that's why the part uh, about having 10 hour audio is uh, really so impressive because of the size. They're small enough to be ultra comfortable and lightweight so that you can wear them and kind of forget they're even in your ears in the first place. At the same time, construction is still very solid. There's an extra reinforced kind of arm so that when you're pulling it out of the ears, um, they have some nice resistance and they don't break the wire as easily. Furthermore, there's an ergonomic shape such as the slightly tilted 120 degree angle to the tips and how they are positioned. Furthermore, the main uh, construction here is out of made out of aluminum and a uh, unibody kind of uh, metal. Um, and of course, there's rubber which uh, runs through the wire. So it does, again, feel quite premium. Uh, the inline remote control, you can see, is also coated in a layer of rubber, which makes it uh, fairly durable. There's a microphone on one side, and then on the other side, you have access to the controls. You can long press on the center key here to turn the unit on, and you can continue holding on it to start the pairing process. From here, I can also double tap on it to skip tracks and also play pause my music. Under the small rubber flap, you'll find the micro USB port for charging. It takes roughly an hour and a half to completely charge. In our testing, it indeed got roughly 10 10 to 10.5 hours of audio on a single charge, which is actually quite impressive. Using Bluetooth version 4.1, it connected easily with our smartphones and has a nice connection range of roughly 10 meters, 33 feet, so there's no real drop connections in our testing as long as the phone is you know, in our pockets or even in the same room or on the same floor of a house, so connection is also quite good. When it comes to the audio performance, we were also very impressed with the BE3. Despite the small size, they pack quite a punch in terms of lower frequency. Sure, they're not necessarily bass buds, especially compared to larger headphones, but you can still hear that the bass is prominent in EDM music, where there's drum beats, in addition to rock music, so it does a lot better than comparative models that cost slightly less, perhaps by syllable, which have
have always lacked a bit of bass in my opinion. But these indeed have a bit more of a richer sound, which uh, again, audiophiles will appreciate. When it comes to mids and highs, it also sounds quite clean and crisp as well. So there's a nice balanced overall sound, even if you're just listening to instrumentals or vocals, uh, or perhaps movies where people are speaking. So it does a great job for all of these purposes. It also has very low audio latency, almost none, performing quite as nearly as smoothly as traditional plug-in headphones. And what that means is if you're watching a movie, even in an action sequence, the sound and the video will be synced up impressively well. So there's not going to be any delay from from the wireless transmission process. So as a whole, the audio quality is excellent, no distortion, no static, none of that. Um, even when the battery is almost running low, it still sounded quite clean, which is again excellent. Uh, are they necessarily high-res high audio or truly audiophile grade? I would say it's a little bit harder to say, just because I still think that Bluetooth headphones, as good as some of them are starting to sound, aren't going to be nearly as impressive because there's always going to still be that wireless kind of transmission process. Nonetheless, these do a outstanding job. It gets very loud as well. So for the people, target audience here, which is going to be sports enthusiasts, casual listeners, I think that they'll be really pleased here. The uh, overall lo level of comfort is also excellent, both with the uh, spin fit tips, which are again, something that I tested while jogging outdoors and they didn't even fall loose. They still stayed in place really snugly and comfortably. And that's because uh, the tips themselves can spin, but they also prevent the entire thing from falling out. So it creates a better kind of, uh, again, it creates some mobility, but at the same time prevents the entire thing from falling uh, loose uh, over time. So it still remains quite comfortable in your ears, and the overall noise isolation is also quite good. So call quality using the built-in microphone sounded good. It's not noise canceling, but uh, outdoor environments where there's a little bit of background chatter still seem to be acceptable, and the overall controls, uh, again, are laid out pretty well. They're tactile, and they're easy to get used to after trying them out for a few minutes. So that's been our video first look review of the Optima BE Sport 3. Overall, these are excellent. Uh, wireless Bluetooth earphones. They're a bit more traditional in terms of their design. They're not true wireless, um, true wireless earphones. But at the same time, they have long battery life, much longer than the average two or three hours on true wireless earphones, which is terrible. This gets you again around 10 hours. It has a premium build, it has premium sound, and it's just easy to start using without too many hassles. Especially with the extra accessories and tips, these are a great choice for sports enthusiasts who need something slightly more durable, and more importantly, they're comfortable and prevents from falling loose during rigorous movement. And I think that overall sound quality here is also, again, excellent. You can check out more details about these in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching your OS reviews. This has been the Optima BE Sport 3.